At RTB, we've developed a scientifically testable creation model for the origin of the universe and the origin of life. And when we've presented it in front of skeptics and scientists, oftentimes we get an objection that's rather interesting. They'll say, look, religion is about meaning and purpose, and science is all about the facts. And of course, I don't like that objection whatsoever. Ken, as a philosopher, why am I uncomfortable with that objection? I, I think you're uncomfortable because it's what we would call a diversionary tactic. You're, you're moving away from facts over to, to meaning. In logic, we call this the red herring fallacy, which has an interesting origin. The story is, herring is, of course, a smelly fish. So the story is that people would break out of prison. Uh, they would come after them with the bloodhounds, and the smart convict would rub herring on the ground. When the dog would smell the herring fish, it forgot all about the convicts, a diversionary tactic. I think that's where you really need to point out to people that, look, uh, this has moved away from, this is a change in subject. You've, you've moved far away from the, the conclusion. Okay, Mark, uh, you're a philosopher as well. So what should we do when we are victimized by, let's say, a red herring fallacy, and how do we avoid the same thing ourselves? Well, recognizing that it's ultimately a distraction, the easiest way to look at it is to say, you're, you're not arguing what what you said you're going to be arguing. You're attacking something that has nothing to do with what we're talking. You've changed the subject. Let's stick to the subject that we originally started with, which is X, and then focus them back on whatever the original argument was. Okay, so in this case of the creation model, then you would say, look, the, the, the response or the objection should be you can't develop a model that can make predictions as opposed to what's the difference between science and religion. Exactly. What difference does it make whether religion does seek, seek meaning and science does seek facts? The question is, is there a testable creation model? If you bring them back to that question, that's the important point in that fallacy, to recover from it, actually.